All the nice guys out there, just go up to her. Whoever she is, whoever you're thinking about right now, just go up to her. And I'm, I'm saying the nice guys out there because if you are a player, this message is not for you. You are already too cocky. You've been ruining it for everybody. <laughs> if you're a nice guy, go up to her. That is what she's saying. She's not trying to give men advice about if you're a nice guy, just approach the woman that you really want if you're a nice guy she's saying if you're a nice guy please approach me and if you're not please don't that's what this really is about so you sit down sir you sit down but the nice guys that are genuinely worried about you know the whole situation and so you don't put yourself out there most of what we're introduced to is is you know the cocky ones uh no mostly what you're interested in is the cocky ones because all the other women want the cocky ones the nice guys you don't see they're invisible they can't get the time of day with you let's be real men approach women all the time and you guys reject men all the time especially the ones that don't fit in your little standard list the ones that are playing games because that's what they practice and that's what they do and now all the women are in hiding we are in hiding. I am in hiding. I have been in hiding for like six years. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's just too funny to me. She's been hiding for six years? Damn, you need to work on coming out the foxhole, baby girl. Six years? Maybe you need to work on yourself and fix you and stop worrying about men changing and the type of men approaching you. If you're the common denominator, the problem is probably with you. Six years? That's a long time, especially in that window of aging for women. Wow. I'm serious. I have not dated in six years because I have been traumatized by men. But the problem is, is that it's all the cocky ones that come up to you. If you are a nice guy, go up to her for God's sakes. Change the pattern. They do go up to women that they want to talk to, but women turn them down. And another thing, a lot of times women will make it very known that do not approach. They have like a stop sign attached to their back. They might be doing anything to let you know that warning, Will Robertson, warning, do not approach. Rather, it's on their phone acting like you're not there. Are talking to somebody just to not have a conversation with you, flat out not looking at you face to face when you walk by, walking with their nose up like this, blocking out the sun, all of that. Women give off these signals all the time. Men know what those signals are. Nice guys don't want to approach that. For what? And let's not forget, age is a factor. So it all depends. Are you mad because you can't get the guys you want? Is that really the issue? Because you still want the guys that you could get when you were really young? Is it because the Chads and the Tyrones, those quote, rude, bad guys, don't want you anymore? Definitely not for any kind of serious relationship. See, women have a hard time taking accountability and an even harder time telling the whole truth. For all of us, for the future. Your little moment of taking that risk could literally change the trajectory of our future. By reintroducing women to nice guys instead of dicks. That's it for me this morning. Okay, love you, bye. <laughs> Just... It's just funny to me. Take some accountability. Admit that you probably wasted a lot of time. Admit that you turned down a lot of guys that were good for you because they didn't fit in your little standard list. Maybe you got divorced. Maybe you had the guy and you got divorced and you left that because you believe that you can just go out there and find new guys because you're still attractive. Well, look. Ladies have made it so hard for men to want to approach them. There's no wonder why men just simply don't. Men are tired of rejection. 
most men, blue collar men, average men, middle cl- middle age men, middle class men, or whatever you want to call them, the average basic man, he ain't getting no love from these women that are attractive like that. And if he does, he has to really work for it. Because you got to prove yourself to these women if you even get a chance. So men are done with it. Nice guys finish last. And when I say that, I don't mean it in a negative way. I don't mean that you should be mean. But as a guy in this type of situation, this world that we live in now, being nice and being walked over is not the way to go. Women realize that they can use that, and they do. The bottom line is that she's run out of options. She's let Tyrone and Chad be in her bed, in and out the door, and all of this stuff. And she says she's been hiding in the foxhole for six years. So you know what that's about. Revolving door of guys. Can't commit to one. Can't get one to commit to her. But like I always say, you have to look inside yourself and understand what your real issues are. And you cannot keep trying to put it on the other sex. If you work on yourself and you're good, then you will attract that. But you can't expect what you don't deserve. You have to be realistic. The problem is she's probably not getting the candidates that she wants. And those Chads and those Tyrones, you know, those hot guys that were just kind of assholes back in the day and all of that, they don't even want to deal with her now. So now she wants the nice guy. Nice guys, please come out of hiding. (laughs) Anyway. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Leave a comment, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're on TikTok, go ahead and give me a follow over there. Show me some love. I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to get to this 2000 subscriber mark on uh, YouTube. So I'd appreciate it very much. As always, thanks a lot for watching this video and have a good day. Peace. May the force be with you.